Welcome to the program. Starting this year, Finland will be the first country in the world to pilot a basic income scheme. 2,000 unemployed people in the country will begin receiving 560 euros, 585 US dollars, every month from the state. The government believes many job seekers are deterred from finding work because they will lose certain unemployment benefits. So Chris Roebuck is from Cass Business School. He joins me now here in the studio. This is not the first time this has been tried, is it? No, it's been tried before and other people are trying it. The, the basic challenge is that in terms of running a society as a government, you need to spend money as effectively as possible. But the problem is if you try and do it in too much detail, the cost of delivering the system is actually more expensive than what you're trying to deliver. So we try to keep it simple and yeah. this is one way of keeping it simple. Is that its chief benefit? Uh, the Finns seem to think that it, that it is uh, the, the basic benefit, but there's always this core problem that over the last 20, 25 years, the way we work has completely and utterly changed. It's no longer those who are unemployed and those who are in full-time jobs. It's much more those who are, some of whom are in full-time jobs, but an awful lot of people are now in part-time jobs, temporary jobs, and with those jobs, you cannot have an all-or-nothing benefit system because it disincentivizes is anybody from doing anything other than a full-time job bad for people bad for the economy so the question is how does the state encourage people to take those other jobs now in UK they tried to utilize the system of universal credit where everyone was targeted and given a certain amount of money to get them up to the required level to encourage them to work but that was then reduced because of the economic issues that they had in the country and also the complexity of that meant that there were big questions about the efficiency of how it was delivered. So the other way to do it is to say, fine, okay, we'll give everybody a basic amount and then that should take care of it anyway. And actually the costs of that should in the end be better for the whole society than a highly targeted system. One thing that has been debated a great deal in the UK is whether the benefit system at one time mm -hmm. was... Uh, and disincentivize people to work. There's a question about this disincentivization of people to work. I think we need to go back to the basic psychology of the human being and in most cases most people want to contribute to society through work or through some other way. It's, it's what we want to do. And I think there is another thing that perhaps also links to Finland, Scandinavia and other countries in that there is a, a culture within the society of wanting to work. So I think that also plays into the game as well. So they might find it easier than we did. Chris, we're going to see you in a short while to look at the papers. Thanks very much indeed. Now let's